This is Mr. Bread. I'm here with my student, Pumpernickel Bread. Today, we're going to talk about a battle that happened at the end of the French Indian War, the Battle for Quebec at the Plains of Abraham. If Pumpernickel Bread misses any question, she has to eat this disgusting tissue. If she gets them all right, then I'll eat the tissue. I'm not worried. The French and Indian Wars between England and France over the Ohio River Valley. Many Indian tribes sided with the French. Um, the Ohio River Valley was outside of the colonies, and a lot of fights were happening between the French and the English over that territory. George Washington was also at the start of this war. All right, first question. So we're going to skip to the end of the war. Um, the Plains of Abraham is a field by Quebec City where the British soldiers are going to cross over and attack the French city. Um, so when did this battle take place, Pumpernickel Bread? Answer the question now. 1759. It's actually September 13th, 1759, but I guess I'll take that. Um, okay, where was the battle? In the walls of Quebec. Okay, I guess that's right. Well, that was an easy question. The battle for Quebec, duh. Okay, well, oh, here's a hard one. Here's a hard one. Why did the British attack Quebec City? Why did they cross the plains of Abraham? And to get the French to go away. Well, I guess that's actually right. Yes, they are trying to stop French expansion to basically kick the French out of North America and make sure that they can continue to expand themselves. And the next question, which I think I might have just answered, is what is the significance of this battle? Well, if the French, what are you doing? If the French sort of win, won, then well, we probably wouldn't end up being um, the way we are. We'd probably would end up being French. Okay, so you're saying the significance is that the French are not able, because the French don't win, they the British can stay, and then we are the way we are today. Mm -hmm. I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's correct. And it meant that the British can continue to expand. Um, the French are basically kicked out of North America for this time. Well, shoot. Okay, there's still one more question. So get ready to eat that tissue. All right, the question is, you will, you just have to tell me a story or an interesting fact from the battle. But you can't do that. Well, um, General Wolf had his soldiers line up in twos, and it turned out to be a mile wide. Is and General Wolfe, what side is he on? He's on the British side. Oh, that's right. Okay. And what did he do? He made them have two musket balls, so then when he gave out the greatest, um, the, he said his, what he wanted them to do then, when they fired, it was like this huge wall of muskets coming in really destroyed all of the people, of the French people. Fine, that is pretty interesting. Um, and he actually died in the battle, as did one of the French commanders. Um, oh, darn it, I have to eat a tissue. I don't like to eat tissues. Don't, I can, I, I, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it, I say. Oh, 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 my God.